Assalamualaikum Hi everyone I'm Cikgu Niswan Okay students Do you still remember this? I believe this is what you have learned at SPM level The rule filling of electrons in an atom Let's say we have calcium atom with proton number 20 so that the electron configuration is written as 2, 8, 8, 2. Actually, there is a system that chemists use alongside electron configurations to help them plot and keep track of electrons in their orbitals. That's why, at this level, you should be able to write electron configuration of calcium atom as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. Oops, it is not that creepy guys. Don't worry, you can do this. So our subtopic for today is electronic configuration, where you should be able to define and apply of board principle, Hans rule and poly exclusion principle. Electron configuration is a shorthand notation that shows the number and arrangement of electrons in its orbital. Whereas, orbital diagram is a pictorial representation of the electron configuration showing each orbital as a box and each electron as an arrow. But some chemists use a circle or a line instead of a box. Before proceeding, it is important to keep in mind According to quantum mechanics, orbitals are mechanical description of electrons. They do not have measurable physical properties such as mass or temperature. They exist in the imagination. An empty box represents an orbital in which there are no electrons or an unoccupied orbital. A box that has an upward pointing arrow represents an orbital with an electron that spins in one direction. A box with oppositely pointing arrows represents a field orbital. In an atom, the orbitals have definite amounts of energy called energy levels. As I said before, orbitals can be represented as a line, circle, or a box. Actually, filling of electrons are based on three rules that I will explain in just next few seconds. Here, I would like to focus on term degenerate orbitals, meaning orbital having equal energy. If the energy level of two orbitals are different, the lines are separated. But if the energy levels of orbitals are identical, the lines are drawn closer, as in the case of 2px, 2py, and 2pz here. If we want to use box to represent an orbital, we just join three boxes to show the three 2p degenerate orbitals. Okay students, this part is very important. Table given shows the principal quantum number and number of subshells, type of subshells, number of orbitals, and types of orbitals. Try to focus on when principal quantum number n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, number of subshells also 2. Meaning that Number of subshells equal to the quantum number of the shell concerned. Subshells is a group of orbitals with the same energy level but differ in their orientation in space. So again, when n equals to 2, number of subshells also 2. Thus, type of orbitals also 2. So we have 2s orbital and 
2p orbital. Students, flashback. Do you still remember that p orbital have dumbbell shape with three different orientations? These three orbitals align along the x, y, and z axis at 90 degrees to each other. Okay, now, imagine a whole picture. This is shell. And the shell has subshells. Subshells energy sublevels within each the principal energy level. And the subshells consist of two types of orbitals, 2s and 2p orbitals. Okay, example. We have oxygen atom, proton number 8. So, the eight electrons will occupy the orbitals 1s, 2s, 2p. All these orbitals will have different energy, different shape, and different orientation. So can you imagine the combination of all these orbitals? will give overall shape of atom which is spherical do you got it okay students so this is diagram to show 3d model of oxygen atom you can see clearly this is 1s orbital and this is 2s orbital see the 1s and 2s orbitals having same shapes they are spherical but they have two different size since in term of energy 1s orbital is lower than 2s orbital. That's why 2s orbital will have larger spher uh, spherical here. And now look at the 3, the 3, 3p orbitals. Okay, they are in 90 degrees perpendicular to each other. Look at this 90 degrees perpendicular to each other. Can you see that? Okay, so this is the orbital diagram to show the electron configuration Okay, using orbital diagram and this is electron configuration notation. Okay, this superscript number this superscript number okay, this superscript number to show the number of electron in each orbital of energy sublevel. Okay, students. Now, focus when principal quantum number is three. When principal quantum number is three, number of subshells also three. Thus, we have three types of subshells 3s 3p and 3d for 3s number of orbital is one that is we have 3s orbital for 3p number of orbitals is three consists of 3px 3py and 3pz orbitals For subshells 3D, number of orbital is 5 and type of orbitals as 
shown here. For chlorine atom with 17 electrons will occupy orbitals 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, and 3p. So this is the electron configuration notation and this is orbital diagram of chlorine atom. Alright students, that's all for today. See you in the next section. Bye!